If you're going to sign up for next week and you have a heart for others and you just want to sit and listen to people talk, this is the job for you. You don't have to ask a lot of questions uh, in the immediate. You just ask them the questions about their story. They tell you the stories, believe me. But if you love people and you love making sure that they're okay, this is for you. It really is wonderful. I came, uh, let's see, uh, last Friday. So it would have been, was it Thursday or Friday? It's been um, a little while and you kind of lose track of your days, but I, I came out with the first deployment. It's been hot, it's been muggy, but I'm telling you, as you're interviewing people, you don't even feel the heat because you're so engrossed in their stories. It's an absolute wonderful experience. We have been uh, really doing a field operation uh, throughout the, the uh, neighborhood of Denham, and the city of uh, Denham Springs. And uh, you gotta understand, it's, it's devastating. Boy, we arrived here Saturday night and we actually immediately went out into one of the areas, did a few homes. We're basically going house to house and making sure that people are safe, that they have the uh, food and the water that they need, and uh, um, praying with them. And so, noting oh. that, I'm also noting where every team is at, every ham team and every SISM team. One of our jobs here is to keep everybody safe and accounted for. We had a I control unit five. One second. Go five. A control I have team four on base. Acknowledging that Team 4 has returned to base. Do we have an update on uh, Team 6 or Team 3? You're, we're walking around and we're seeing uh, every bit of people's possessions out on the corner of their street, but we're loving on them. It's an absolute wonderful experience. We have experienced some people who are totally devastated. Most of the people that we have talked to have resources um, and many of them will say to you I don't need anything but really they do need a little something and so just a prayer and that little gift card that we can give out is great um, but there are some people who really are in desperate need of chaplains and so you get that story from them and you can give them what they need right then in there first of all I I would just encourage any of my Austin uh, buddies to come out here uh, you know this Austin disaster relief uh, network these volunteers they are fabulous to work with and so you've got lots of support around you uh, you don't have to be worried about uh, being sort of stranded without food or water or camaraderie uh, it's just um, really great we've had to stay a few different places um, but it tests your adaptability which in my mind is a good thing you, you know you find out uh, how adaptable you are and it kind of upgrades your strategy for handling stress or tragedy uh, at other times but um, it's just been a total blessing to be here and we started every morning and ended every day God is good all the time all the time God is good all righty come on out guys yes please come out we need you we love you and it is wonderful here in terms of the love that you receive from these people and you can give absolutely amen amen